Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Array String Methods 2 for part 3 of module 1. Uh, one problem here, we're going to convert double space to single space. So write a function called convert double space to single, uh, give it a string, convert double space to single, returns the passed in string with all the double spaces converted to single spaces. Uh, okay, so they want us to be familiar with the string.split and array.join. Um, so yeah, uh, there's a couple ways to go about this, but the way that I think they want you to do it is first we're going to uh, split the input string on the double space. Because if you recall, split will let us break a string into an array of elements and it'll break it up based on a substring that we identify. Uh, if you don't pass anything in, it's just going to give you all of the individual characters. And in fact, we should probably have a look at this. So, this is the first time we're going to go to a separate website, but the reason that we're going to this one is because it's fantastic. Uh, you can log in. This is called REPL.IT. I'll make this a little bit bigger so everybody can see. And you can log in, and, and it's fine. You can save your stuff. It's a very nice website. Um, if you don't feel like doing all of that, you can jump down here, click on JavaScript, and it'll sign you in, I think, as like a guest or something. Uh, what is index.js? Don't worry about that. What is node version 10.15.2? Don't worry about that. Essentially, this is just, uh, well, no, I said don't worry about it, so let's not worry about it. Uh, I am going to change the theme to dark because I don't know why. It just feels so much better to program on a dark theme uh, interface, at least for me. So let's go ahead and grab uh, this. I'm going to paste this in here. This is our test case, and this will be the first time that we're kind of messing with it in the way that... Uh, in this way. So we want to write a function. So we write a function, convert double space to single space. Now let's make this a little bit bigger. Mm, hopefully that's big enough. Takes an input string. And one of the things you might notice is it's like, hey, why does it keep trying to complete everything? And why is it telling me, uh, you know, this? It's like, that's why these kind of external websites can be a little bit tricky, especially as a beginner. Uh, the best way to get past that is just to honestly ignore most things until they stop you and then look them up. Uh, so the first thing we might want to do is to ensure that we understand what's going on here. So the first thing I'm going to do is console.log the string. I'm going to hit run and see what happens. So string with double spaces, undefined, and another undefined here. So in case you were wondering, uh, this is the first undefined this concept of log of the output because it's undefined. And then this arrow actually went over this in the module one beta. Uh, essentially what it does is um, it tells you the last value that was returned, but it's it's not nearly as consistent as it ought to be. <clears throat> and you want to consider that if it's a concept log, it's going to look like this. If it's that last value being returned, it's going to look like this. So the first thing we want to do is let's, let's say variable split is equal to str.split, and we're not going to call it with anything. And then we'll return split. So when we return split, that's going to save it in the output, and then when we console.log the output, it'll log to the console. So if we hit run, string with double spaces. So it's just one, it's just the entire uh, string put into one array. So that's with, that's with no parameters. If we put an empty string as a parameter and we run it, it's going to give us all of the individual characters. So what we're looking for here is we want to break this apart at the instances where the double spaces are. If we can get an array that has all of the words in it, we could then join that array using join, uh, which will allow us to put the string back together. So join's another one. Uh, join is essentially the opposite of split, but let's go ahead and look it up. We want join, and we're joining an array. So the join method creates and returns a new string by concatenating all the elements. Um, as you can see, you can uh, join them with dashes. Uh, you can join them with no spaces. If you call join without any parameters, it'll put the commas in between them. Uh, and what we want is spaces. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to split on a double space. And we'll run that to make sure that we have... Okay, so now we have individual words. Now we'll say variable join is equal to split dot join, and we're going to call it with a space. If we call it with a space, and then return joined, this will put the this array, 
that we had returned previously together with spaces in between it rather than double spaces. Now that we've done that, that's exactly what we would want. Uh, you can copy and paste this back, but sometimes it can be good to see if you can write it again from scratch. So split the input string on a double space. Join resulting array on a single space. Return result. So variable split is equal to str dot split on a double space. Variable joined is equal to split dot join on a single space. And then we can return joined. So uh, one thing that can be kind of fun is to just take a quick look at uh, maybe a little bit fancier version of this, which is not to say that it'd be fancy, but we can put all of this in one line. str dot split on a double space dot join on a single space. And if we just return all of that, it's essentially we've chained the methods together. This is going to result in split. This is going to result in join. And now we're returning the whole thing. So yeah, two ways to do it. An introduction of Revlet, which is an outside way to look at your code and kind of test things out and log things to the console. Very useful. We're probably going to use it for a couple more problems as we go on. But getting used to different development environments can be a useful idea. So have fun with it if you'd like. Otherwise, um, well, you know, See you in the next video and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.